Yes, ma'am, your next witness. Yes, Your Honor, we'd like to call the Disney corporate representative. All right. Would you please state your name and your business address for the record? Uh, Tina Newman. Walt Disney Studios Motion Picture Production, live action, uh, 500 South Buena Vista Street, Burbank, California, 91521. And what is your current occupation? I'm a production executive. And what is your job title? That is my title, production executive. I work in the live action feature division for Disney. Is it your understanding you're testifying on behalf of Walt Disney Motion Pictures Group? Yes. Were you involved in the gathering of the documents responsive to the documents of to Disney? Uh, yes, I did provide some documentation to Alec and his group from our production group. I'm going to ask you to take a look at what I've just highlighted under topic number, it's subpoena Duke has taken paragraph number two and it asks for documents relating to this case, in fact, and then it also says specifically, this specifically includes the op-ed by Ms. Hurd and any impact it may have had on the above. And that includes, as it's defined above, including the, the business relationship with Mr. Depp, including considering Mr. Depp for any work with Disney or future pirates of the Caribbean role, a lesser or greater role, a different role or a different production. Do you recall seeing in any of the documents you reviewed, either being as being involved as the corporate designee or in preparing as the corporate designee, do you recall seeing an op-ed written by Ms. Hurd? No. Do you recall in your preparation as the corporate designee of Disney and your review of the documents that were produced by Disney, any document that referred in any manner to the op-ed written by Ms. Hurd? I would say no. Do you remember seeing in any of the documents you reviewed that were produced by Disney in response to the subpoena Lucas Tegum, um, the word op-ed in any of those documents? I don't recall that, no. Did you have any discussions with anyone at Disney about any future Pirates of the Caribbean role, a lesser or greater role, a different role, or a different production? No. Did you have any discussions with anyone at Disney about the impact of the op-ed by Ms. Hurd on the relationship between Disney and Mr. Depp, including considering Mr. Depp for any work with Disney, any future Pirates of the Caribbean role, a lesser or greater role, a different role, or a different production? No. Do you know whether Mr. Depp is being considered for a role in Pirates 6? No. And when you say no, I think I have to probably ask clarification. Does that mean you don't know one way or the other or he is not being considered? I don't know one way or the other. Do you Doesn't know? Fall. I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I was know. just gonna say that decision doesn't fall within my job responsibility. It's, it's above my head, <laughs> it's the best way to say it. So what is the knowledge you have about Pirate 6? Like I said, I just know that it's a project that's possibly in development at the studio. That's it. Do you know whether anyone at Disney has ever even read the op-ed written by Ms. Hurd? No. Are you aware of anyone else at Disney who has knowledge of the topic areas in the deposition notice, that's deposition exhibit number two, th that beyond what you know. I can't honestly say, I can't speak for someone else. Like I explained earlier, my knowledge and what my job functionality is at the studio, at Plateaus, 
and there are people that I work under and those particular persons may or may not have more knowledge, but I can't speak on behalf of them. Are, is Disney aware that Mr. Depp has testified under oath that he would not take another Pirates of the Caribbean franchise role for $300 million and a million alpacas? No. Would Disney entertain paying Mr. Depp more than $300 million and provide him with more than a million alpacas to be able to obtain his uh, services for any future Pirates of the Caribbean role? No. I'm going to show you what has been marked as deposition exhibit number 52 to Alan Horn. Who's that? He was our co-chairman. Of Disney? Yes. And Alan Bar Bergman, who's he? Same. He's the other co-chairman of Disney, or was at the time. And then Sean Bailey, you indicated was the president? It's our president of production, correct. Okay, and then Ricky Strauss, who's he? I believe at the time he was the head of our marketing group. And Paul Rader? Paul Rader is the head of communications. All right, and this is from Angela Shaw, and it's dated 5-10-2017. Do you see that? Yes. And it says, subject HR, Johnny Depp, A Star in Crisis, and the Insane Story of His Missing Millions. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. Do you have any understanding as to why Angela Shaw was sending this communication to this group, the two co-chairmen, the president, uh, vice president of production, head of communications on this particular day? I don't know what the intent of the email is, but um, obviously we have a relationship as a company with Johnny, so I assume that's why she may be bringing it to their attention. All right, and just to take that a little bit further, given that Disney has a relationship with Johnny Depp, uh, if there is publicity relating to Johnny Depp, whether it be positive or negative, that would be relevant to Disney, would it not? Yeah, I mean, I can't say how it's relevant to Disney, but given that Angela is part of communications, it's her job to, you know, keep the studio abreast, I guess, of anything concerning the, the company. So that's about as far as I can read into it. Okay. And, and so that, that's your interpretation of why Angela Shaw sent this to that group of people was to keep them apprised of this particular uh, article on Johnny Depp. Would you agree? Yeah, that would be my assumption. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to take a look at what has been labeled as uh, exhibit number 53, and it um, is Disney 114 through 137. Uh, and I'm going to ask you if you recognize this document. Uh, well, it looks like an internal email. It may be. It may have been part of the disclosure documents. This one's from Alan Horn, and I think we've identified Alan Horn before. Well, actually, it starts with, let's start down here. Uh, on June 21st, 2018, all right, and then it has a reply from Sean Bailey, SAD. Do you see that? Yes. What it was Mr. Bailey's position with Disney on June 21st, 2018? I believe he was the president then. Okay. He may and have been the EVP. I don't know. Okay. And and then we have an email at the top. It's to Sean Bailey, CC Janelle Tipton. Um, and then it has some copies to some other people. It's from Alan Horn. I believe we said he was one of the co-directors. Is that correct? Co-chairman. Co-chairman. Okay. Uh, and... Alan Bergman. The other co-chairman. Okay. Uh, and do you have any recollection of ever reading the Rolling Stones article 
uh, about Johnny Depp back in this time frame? I honestly don't remember if I ever read this document. I may have. Do you have any understanding of why uh, this would be sent from Alan Horn to these other individuals on the top? Again, same as for same as before, just because of the fact that we have a relationship with Johnny. So they may have determined it was important to bring it to their attention. All right, Ms. Newman, I'm going to show you what has been marked as deposition exhibit number 54. And uh, do you recognize this document? Uh, yes, it looks like a email. Please, tell me, please describe it for me. Uh, it's an email. Uh, well, it started from Scott to myself. Scott Sellers is in uh, post finance. And then I replied to Scott. So it looks like uh, an email exchange between the two of us. All right. And you said Scott Sellers is in post finance? Correct. What What is that? Uh, he handles all finances once film goes into post production on any given picture. Also reporting for the studio, internal reporting, finances. Okay. All right, and this is July 14, 2018, that he's sending this to you, correct? Yes. Do you recall reading the story that was in the Rolling Stone, The Trouble with Johnny Depp? I mean, to be honest, I don't really remember much about the story, but obviously I must have looked at it and uh, commented. Right, and in fact, in fact, you commented depressing. Do you see yes. that? Yes. Okay. And just to uh, go back to refreshing the recollection on the template, do you see that it has importance and received on this when you sent it back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ms. Newman, I'm going to ask you to take a look at what has been marked as deposition exhibit number 56. And it is a document also produced by Disney. And there's the bait stamps, Disney 167 through 177. And I'm going to ask you to take a look at the top here. This is to Alan Bergman from, uh, and it has THRs today and entertainment. Do you understand what that is? Yes. Okay. I'm going to ask you to turn down to 169. It says Johnny Depp's legal team prepares for court hearing about Amber Heard abuse claims. The actor's camp is previewing the evidence that it will present in an upcoming court hearing in the UK this fall tied to a de defamation lawsuit against the Sun for an article that labeled the actor a, quote, wife beater, end of quote, Katie Kalani reports. Do you see that? Yes. Do you have a recollection of learning about this and reading about the UK case in this time frame? We're talking uh, October 2018. I may have seen a headline come across my desk in the same manner as Alan received it, but that's probably as far as it went. Ms. Newman, I'm going to show you what has been marked as deposition Mark. number 60. And it's dated November 5, 2020. And it says Disney reportedly scraps plans for Depp's POTC 6. I'm assuming that's Pirates of the Caribbean 6 return. You see that? Did you see it? Yes, I see it. As you sit here today, are you aware of any document in Disney's emails or in their IT system or anywhere? that contains Amber Heard's op-ed from December of 2018? I mean, no, not that I'm aware. Okay. Are you aware of any decision maker within Disney who has ever said they are not casting Johnny Depp in Pirate 6 or any other role because of Amber Heard's op-ed? No. Are you aware of any dis decision maker outside of Disney? And by this, I'm including producers, directors, people of that ilk. 
who have ever said they were not considering Mr. Depp for Pirate 6 or any other movie because of Amber Heard's op-ed from December 2018. No. 